Welcome to I Like to Run Line. I was thinking about the question, how many cars are there in the United States? And with cars, we mean passenger cars, trucks, uh, SUVs, things like that, all together. And I looked it up, and it was 282 million. So let's say that we, uh, we round that off to 300 million, and let's try to put that into perspective. What does that mean, 300 million cars? Well, if we assume that the length of each car is about 5 meters, which is about 16 feet, there's some small cars and big cars, so on average about 16 feet, there's 300 million of them. If it were to park them bumper to bumper, how long a line of cars would that be? Well, we multiply 300 million by 5 meters, that gives us 1.5 billion meters, and realizing that the Earth's circumference is 40 million meters, that's 38 times the circumference of the Earth. So if we were to park all the cars in the United States, bumper to bumper, we'd wrap that string of cars around the Earth 38 times. Of course, you'd have a bit of a problem parking on the oceans, but let's ignore that for a moment. That's a lot of cars. And then I wondered, well, could we park all those cars on the freeways in the country? Well, there's about 48,756 miles of freeway. That's probably an old number. It's probably a little bit different now. So let's say 50,000 miles of freeway. That's about 80,000 kilometers of freeways. And let's assume that each freeway on average has six lanes, three lanes going in each direction. Many of the freeways are far out into the countryside. There's only two lanes in each direction, but towards the cities, sometimes it's four, five, six lanes in each direction. So on average, three lanes in each direction. That means there's about 480,000 kilometers of freeway lanes. Let's call it half a million, 500,000 kilometers, which is 500 million meters of freeway lanes. Now, since we have one and a half billion meters of cars when they're parked bumper to bumper, and only, one and, uh, only 500 million meters, that means there's three times as many cars as we can park on all the freeways of the entire country, bumper to bumper, on every single lane. Only one-third of the cars can park on all the U.S. freeways, bumper to bumper. So if everybody tried to get onto the freeway at the same time, that obviously wouldn't work. So if you're wondering why sometimes you get so stuck in traffic, there's just too many cars and not enough road. Simple as that. Yes, of course, we're ignoring the surface streets. Yeah, but if everybody tried to get onto the freeway, and in most places, that's the only way you can get anywhere is on the freeway. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of cars. And that doesn't include the delivery trucks, the semis, the 18-wheelers. If we had those, it'd even be a lot worse. It is a lot worse. <laughs> it is a lot worse, yeah. <laughs> now you know why, yes, the freeways are so clogged up during rush hour. <laughs> the 101, the, the 405. <laughs> yes, unfortunately.